I've gone ahead and created this simple scene, including a couple of objects. You can see I got this sphere primitive here, as well as the polygonal cube object. Use color option is turned on for both of them. So let's finally go to new node expresso logic order to finally introduce the order node. The main purpose of this node is to order two signals depending on their current value. If the value of input 1 is currently higher than the value of input 2, this node outputs 1. In case if it's actually opposite, it outputs minus 1. If the values of both inputs are equivalent to each other, it outputs 0. I can simply prove it by trying to change the values of those constant nodes. You can see now the output is 0 when two values are equivalent to each other, and when the second input is higher than input 1, this node is gonna give us the value of minus 1. So let me quickly go and build something more interesting here. I'm gonna get rid of both of these constant nodes for now. Then I'm gonna drag cube and sphere objects onto the canvas. I'm gonna use global position y parameter at both of these nodes. You can find it by going to coordinates global position global position y. Then I'm gonna connect all of these nodes together. So this order node will give me the output depending on the positions of those objects relatively to each other. For example, if the sphere is higher than cube, the output will be equal to minus 1. If it's lower, then the output is 1. If these objects have the same coordinates along y-axis, the output will be equal to 0. Next, let's modify this output into something more reasonable. And we can easily do this with the help of math node. You can go to new node expresso calculate math to bring this node on the canvas. Let's connect them together, then increase the input 2 value by 1 and leave its function as is. So now, when we have this modified output signal, we can finally use the condition node, which can be found by going to new node expresso logic condition. This condition node allows us to choose between different inputs on the fly depending on the switch value. I'm gonna connect the outputs of that math node to the switch port of condition node. Then I'm gonna use a couple of constant nodes to use them for the simulation of incoming color signal. Let's quickly change its data type to color and quickly pick up some nice color, like something bluish. It really doesn't matter which one of them you are going to state, because eventually all of this is being done for the sake of demonstration. In real-world example, you might have something different other than just having uh, color signals. So let's now quickly connect these constant nodes to the corresponding input ports of the condition node. Of course, for now, this condition node operates the data of a real type. So let's switch it to color as well, and then drag this polygonal cube to the canvas. I'm going to use display color port here, so you can get it by going to basic properties display color. And that's it. We can connect these nodes together, and the rig is finished. So by simply moving this sphere up and down now, I can switch between different color signals coming to this cube. So that's the order node. And if you really like these Expresso tutorials, you can find the whole course devoted to Expresso available on the App Store. Just type in Expresso or follow the link below.